Hello and welcome back to Scratching the Itch.io here at A Link to the Cast. I am Mark Robinson at Lithium Project on Twitter and today we are looking at a game called Rockets Run. Now this comes to us via 171 Games. You can find them on Twitter at 171. Um, I'll have a link in the description. And uh, this is... It's kind of got a couple of things going for it. It feels like it's got a little bit of uh, roguelikiness to it. You know, it's permadeath, so uh, once you die, that's it, game over, you have to start again. Uh, it's got a little bit from their description, a bit of Gravatar or Thrust, and I can see elements of both of them in there. Uh, graphically, it kind of reminds me actually a little bit of Super Metroid, or uh, to give it kind of more relevant, Axiom Verge. Uh, has a, I don't know, kind of alien planetoid sort of ecosystem visual uh, style going to it um, and with that kind of retro pixelated visual flair. Uh, we're just going to kind of jump right in. Uh, basically the, the main idea of the game is uh, you have a little rocket, you can control it using W, A and D uh, to kind of thrust around and then you can use the space bar to shoot as there are a few enemies I've seen playing through that you can shoot. It's quite difficult. Uh, if you bump into the walls, you have a, a little life bar in the top left hand of the screen. Um, yes, yeah, so if you if you bump into the walls, that life bar starts to, to chip away. Uh, it, you are able to find health packs uh, to keep going, but it's uh, yeah, I, I found it quite tricky so far. So we're going to jump in. There's no real. Uh, Introduction, it's pretty much you press space and away you go, so it kind of takes you by surprise. So, uh, in the top left hand screen, the blue bar is your uh, health, uh, the green one is your fuel, and then there are these artifacts. Again, <laughs> it is really, really difficult. So it's kind of, you know, there's a little bit of the, the Metroid in terms of there's exploration and you want to find these artifacts and boy, it is hard to not hit anything. That is handy. I'm presuming there's maybe one of them per level. Oh, last, last one, last one. Where is the exit? Is, is there an exit? Land. Okay. That was not landing. So you need to have at least 10% unless you can have like a slower decline on the land. Okay, I never cleared the first level on my little practice playthrough. So this is going to be all blind from here. Whoa! It'd be nice if you could at least start the level on an actual landing strip to give yourself half a chance to kind of prepare. I have no idea if those spikes are insta kill. I do not want to find out. Don't need to get the jet just yet. Easy does it. Easy does it. I'll take ten percent shield. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, look! If this works, I'm gonna do it. The music has that typical, you know, retro feel to it. Okay, so you can land and not take any damage, so that's good. At least we have established that now. Can I get that without taking any hits? Yes. Already been that way. Ooh. 
Ah. Damn. Damn. Boy, the the level of exploration you need to do ramps up pretty quickly. Ah. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> oh boy. Let's have another go. Are you, are you going to take me back right to the beginning? Oh, that is brutal. Oh. 171. You are mean. So yeah, this, this game is not for the faint of heart. Oh boy. So this is probably like one of the most difficult games I've found on Itch.io so far. And uh, but it's all within the design of, you know, how they have made this game, you know. Um, and I can appreciate when a game is difficult, but it is by design, which is exactly what this is. Um, doesn't make it any less frustrating to play in some regards, but I can see the creator's vision and I can appreciate that. Okay, let's try and see if we can make it through. So there's only four artifacts again. It's just the, the level, the, the layer of the level is a little bit bigger. Okay, so I totally went the wrong way last time. It's also one of those games where talking is is more of a distraction than anything. So to those out there that have played this and are able to talk the whole way through it, more power to you, because I am having to focus so hard right now. Okay, so far I think we are doing better. Oh boy. Ah. It's fair to say I think this last one is down here. Can I get that and not take a hit? Yes, I can. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. This is upsetting. Okay. Can I get back without taking a hit? Oh, I am not enjoying this right now. Jesus, that means I have to land it as well with that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. Cool. I like how the spaceship is in between the words level and clear. That's just a nice little touch as well. Not sure what the ventilation fans for are. Is it AC? Is is it hot? Is this a hot area? Is it like Florida? We need AC everywhere. Who knows? Okay, I'm gonna have one attempt at this and then I'll leave it there because I feel like we have the general gist of what this game is uh, trying to accomplish. And I think it accomplishes it very well, I'd like to say. Seems like as long as you're off screen, these guys won't attack you.
I like that we have breakable elements. One eight turn, like Bruce Willis in the movies. And just drive straight for it instead. Sure, whatever. Whatever. Guess we will need this after all. And I've burnt through half my jet fuel already. And we're only one artifact down, so this this is going swimmingly. And the cat is going mental, as he is one to do. Usually when I'm recording. Thanks, Hobbs. Ooh. Gonna run out of jet fuel pretty quickly. Ah! Uh, I can see it as well. Can I get there in time? Or am I just going to use all my armor up before then? Or shield, I guess. Okay. Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> Done. Okay, well, you know, it's just a quick playthrough there. Here at Scratching the Itch.io. Scratching the Itch.io, if I can pronounce it correctly. It's early in the morning. Let me be. Yeah, this has been Rocket Run. I've, uh, I've enjoyed this. Uh, it's a very simple little game, but it does exactly what it sets out to do. And that is to annoy and frustrate you, but in the good kind of way. Thank you very much, 171 Games, for bringing this to my attention. Uh, again, I'll have all the links in the description. Please stay here at a link to the cast. Uh, do follow us on a link to the cast on Twitter, and uh, look out for a new podcast coming tomorrow, talking about Resident Evil 4 because we are in Shocktober. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again next time. <laughs>